On behalf of the, the El Caballero Club, we'd like to welcome Rabbi Derek Brown here to Chabad's uh, South African Comedy Evening. Derek, what club do you use to get out of the bunker? Driver. He uses a driver, I use a putter. <laughs> Thank you for coming. <laughs> Three things I miss about South Africa, it's actually pretty obvious. I miss Biltong. Well, actually, I don't miss Biltong. I get pretty good Biltong here. I miss King Clip and Yellow Kling Peaches. <laughs> I must say I miss the sunsets, the sunrises, and the sounds of the birds and the, all the it's insects that we just don't have here. Family. <laughs> Boravos, Braflays, and Chevrolet. Probably just uh, Bryce and Cricket. Rise and cricket. We see a little bit of rugby out here, but no cricket coverage. What do I miss about South Africa? I miss, uh, I'm Australian for starters, my wife's South African. I miss the fact that I can play so many bets being an Australian and always win against the South Africans. Um, I love the Bourbon here, by the way. What about you? What do you miss about South Africa? The smell and the sunsets and the bush and my family. Serviettes, Biltong, Simba chips. I was born in Johannesburg and went to King David Linksfield School. Head girl. <laughs> we had a lot of fun. School days were really terrific. It's nice to have the uh, food again. I haven't had pup in years. It's delicious. Breathless, sunny skies and Chevrolet. I'd like to thank you all for coming out here tonight. But I love Rabbi Rabin, that I have to say. Kol Tov, Rabbi. Mazel Tov. It's lovely to be here and I'd like to thank the Rabbi and the Rebbitzin. They've done a sterling job to bring the community, all the Jewish people together. And I'm sure it's going to be a wonderful evening, so thank you very much. However, LA has been very good to us and it's wonderful to be at this event amongst all other South Africans. Enjoy everybody. But no, it's, it's really amazing to be here. We are in one of the greatest countries in the world. Right now. Yeah. For years and years, I always remember my dad saying to me, they will never elect a Jew in America. They'll never elect a Jew. A Catholic, maybe. A black man, maybe. A Jew, no. Now, for the first time speaking to my dad, he's going, please God, don't let them elect a Jew.